what's going on guys welcome back to clash with eric it is time for the finals of the first open qualifier for the clash masters cup here the teams are playing for points to get into the playoffs and move on to go play for a silver ticket to the world championship which doesn't really make sense because they both already have golden tickets it is our two golden ticket holders to the world championship of clash of clans playing in this finals match of the clash masters cup and they're also playing for a lot of money today they're playing in today's match for four thousand dollars and then the winner will get more points towards the playoffs where they'll continue on to play for ten thousand dollars there so a lot of money here on the line for these teams here as they work their way in here with a queen charge we got yo-yo 23 from altar attack starting off against stars from the queen walkers pushes his way right into the enemy queen and continuing on to the multi-inferno here the king coming in on the outside super wall break look at the super wall breaker going all the way into the core of the base here since he already got the wall open to the artillery even though the queen isn't going into it is going to make sure the queen can push into the single inferno in the core of the base while the king gets funneled to go to the outside a wizard comes down while the cannon was tanking over there and he was able to get that down drops in a balloon to go pick off the bomb tower and the raw champion will go into the eagle artillery yes. a couple uh skelly traps there popping on her but she was able to use invisibility to protect herself and Continue on to finish off the test of farm as the queen continues through the single inferno. The king was able to take the scatter shot over on the right side. Still moving strong over there. The queen will pop the hound. Got the poison still active. Very, very well placed poison here. This is absolutely superb. Town hall finally activates. He'll be ending on the town hall and he doesn't have a blimp. He decided to go with the stone slammer. So slammer can go do a lot of work here and it can also take the scatter shot on the approach here, but he does get the blues targeted by the scatter shot it is taking a lot of fire there Ooh, that could be a little bit of a problem here this is up oh he has to go to ward ability that's gonna make so he doesn't have the ward ability for the town hall uh oh he doesn't have any more spell support here don't one star don't open with a one star come on carry through carry through all the blooms arriving here get that archer tower down to the top corner i need to get this air defense the queen's still moving strong though Baby, an Inferno Dragon and a Dragon Rider pop out! Okay, Dragon Rider steps in. Air Defense is still standing there, but he's not getting targeted by the Queen. Still going through the wall. Oh no. Ladies and gentlemen, our first Golden ticket holder to the World Championship of Clash of Clans. Took a massive risk on this attack here. Went in with a Stone Slammer instead of a Blimp. And the Lalo got wrecked by that scatter shot, And he's going to fall short heavily here. Leaving six buildings left on the board here. Including the Town Hall. And the Queen Walkers will start with a massive advantage here as alternate attacks misses on their opener. That's how we're starting off this grand finals match, guys. We'll see how it all plays out. Sadra going to try to take advantage of that one star. If he gets the triple here, the Queen Walkers will start up by two stars and put massive pressure onto alternate attacks right out of the gate here. Starts in with a minion out on the left side. And ending on the town hall. That was all or nothing to open up here. I cannot believe that that just happened. Especially in a finals match here. After they worked their way through so many teams to arrive at this match here over the last few days. Playing through every other team that signed up for the tournament. In the open qualifiers. And here we stand. Is it a super wizard to help the warden walk? Rage it up there. Warden not going to ability. Hanging in there. Super Wizard doing some extra damage there with the Warden. Starts in the Queen. He'll be coming in opposite of the Town Hall here with a Log Launcher. And also taking a big risk here. Also ending on the Town Hall. You know what would be crazy? Is if we had two One Stars to open up this final match from our two World Championship Golden Ticket holders. Asadra very confident in his smash attacks commonly comes in opposite of the town hall and when this man spots 
a way to beat a base. Not much is going to slow him down here. The master of the smash attacks. He's got the P.E.K.K.A.s beaten to the wall on the left side there. As the log launcher will continue working his way through. Now notice on this base here how he staggered the level 15 walls and the level 14 walls. That makes so if they use a wall wrecker, it does slow down the wall wrecker because it needs one additional strike to take those walls open. But a log launcher not going to have the same problem as he'll be able to take out every other wall and continue to charge his troops through. He does open up access all the way across the base there to the town hall. He's got an ice skull and working with the road champion over on the right. The Pekka's and the Yetis. The Yetis came out of the log launcher and will try to join in with him as he makes his approach to the town hall, but he's not having a, enough punch here to the town hall. The moment he'll rage up and try to get it down. The queen will go invisible. He loses his unicorn. Road champion is still doing work on the right side. Does get through. Gets the town hall down with the queen. RC takes out the multi inferno. Is he gonna swag his? He's gonna swag his warden, isn't he? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the queen walkers swag their warden at their end. Stardress can swag the freeze. And Queen Walkers will open up two stars ahead above altar attacks after the one star from Yo Yo 23. A big. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. He may not. He not might be able to get the storage. It's at full health. Come on, get out of the tornado. RC goes through. Come on, RC. RC and the headhunter both working. Wait. <laughs> The warden takes the shot! It's still a triple! Woo! Close! Close! I thought we jinxed it. I thought he wasn't gonna make it back, but he did. <laughs> Alright. Too close for comfort. Boom! Coming up for the next one. Coming in with a Blizzard Dragon Rider attacker. Mass Dragon Riders here as he sends in a Lava Hound to tank the air defense here. Travels right over the top of it and lands in the channel next to the Town Hall. He can get the CC. He can get the Inferno. He'll grab out that air defense. And he also has all the pups working as well. Doing some additional damage here for the Super Wizards. They'll step all the way over to the left-hand side of that channel and clear everything that was reachable. Also got the Bomb Tower as they attack the wall. Remember the Super Wizards... When they finally do attack the wall, they will still chain to three tiles past that wall to hit the buildings that are beyond it. But you can actually get potential for the reach if you can actually use that to your advantage. In this case, it didn't make too big of a difference there. The bomb tower is not a high impact defense in this, and he'll charge his queen towards the town hall. He already dealt with the CC. King will come in down the line. The king with a funnel being formed by the sneaky goblins will wall break into the multi inferno. We're able to go into the queen and the warden statue. If they can get both of those down there with the assistance of the invisibilities and or freezes, probably the freezes, then he should be in a really, really good spot here. Still has his royal champion, and the royal champion can work with the heroes here, or they can go in with the dragon riders. We'll go right into the scatter shot up on the top side of the base here. And use an early ward ability to protect the headhunters and the road champion as they charge their way into the enemy road champion. There it is. Early ward ability. Get the scatter shot down fast. Wayne dies out there, but the king was able to clear that entire left hand compartment. Looking really, really good here. A lot of the dragon riders split off to the core. We'll go take out the scatter shot. Lots of red bombs going off. And black bombs going off there. Rage it up. Where's this RC? RC broke off to the right side with the three dragon riders traveling on that side. Looking good here. Red Expo picking her off there, though. He'll pop the RC ability. Chains through and takes out the air defense in the Arch Tower, protecting the Dragon Riders. There's the freezes for the backside. Boom from alternate attacks. We'll put their triple up here. Maybe give them a chance here to make a comeback. They need to stay consistent. They have to get pretty much all triples for the rest of the war here to have a chance to make a comeback against the Queen Walkers, and they're gonna have to hold some defenses. But alternate attacks, very well known for having the best base builders in the world, can have the base building techniques to stop the Queen Walkers. They control them a little bit there. They can find a way to get the defenses and make a comeback in this war. Boom. Give them a chance here. Let's go. Gaku, coming in for the next one, coming against... Or iron starting off right away here with the king and the queen walking along the left side here and just dropping in all of these inferno dragons and dragon riders 
They just blanket this left hand corner of the base. Blimp travels through with the early board ability. We'll snipe out the town hall. He's got skeletal spells all throughout the core of the base here, keeping all of the defenses under control and keeping these Inferno Dragons and Dragon Runners safe as he continues to work his way through the queen staying safe on the outside the world champion joins in early on the right side he needs to get the enemy queen down i don't see her in there did he already get her maybe he already got her but he got the king out of the way he'll keep his world champion safe and he's got a strong push going to the backside here all of his heroes are staying well protected the queen getting topped off everything working perfectly in sync right now he's got a dragon rider up on the top side will lock onto the air defense and take that down protect the dragon riders as they work their way into the multi inferno one Dragon Rider onto the multi inferno. He will freeze it to make sure that it gets it down there. So he's going to deal with that on the backside. That's one of the few defenses that the Queen of the King can't reach. The World Champion still sweeping through. She still has ability. It's absolutely crushed. Gaku ripping this base to shreds here. And the Queen Walkers will maintain their lead. No mistakes to start it off here. And they'll pass it right back over to Alter Attacks. A very, very fast attack here. Finishing that one in a minute and 26 seconds. Beautiful work here from Gaku. Sir Iron is live against Dodra. Coming in with a Queen Charge Dragon Rider. Starting with the King. King will get funneled to the left and then... Get pushed in by the queen to go into the scatter shot here, delaying his queen's healers by a moment until he's sure that the healers will not transfer over to the queen or the king, I mean, and will be safe. And then he can charge his queen into the town hall compartment. The king very well might pull the CC. And hunters will come out. King lost his yak, so he's not going to be able to power through those hunters. So they will turn on the queen here and deploy his healers now and fight out the CC. Delays that poison as long as possible there. So that he can have the poison still active potentially when he goes through the hound. He probably wants to rage it there. So the queen doesn't take too long to get that hound popped and have the poison fade on. And the poison does fade. He'll need a couple of minions there to help clean up the pups a little bit faster. That's going to cost him some time. See if time becomes a factor there with these couple seconds wasted. Or if the rage here is being saved makes the bigger impact. If he ends up needing that rage further into the attack. Definitely keep an eye on that clock here. And 20 seconds elapsed here as so he'll push his way into the single inferno. Locks onto that first before switching over to the air skellies. And he will be able to take this town hall down. No issues there. He has a stone slammer selected at the moment. Normally when people bring stone slammers, they charge the town hall first, which was one of the factors that is heavily affecting this war right now is the uh, stone summer choice earlier but he'll continue to push his way through with a stone summer to go directly into the scatter shot there will get inside the middle range he's got the headhunters on top of the enemy road champion will rage up the dragon riders as they push their way into the base well headers will cross all the way through the queen has a wall break to go into the multi inferno there but she does go to it. I wasn't sure if she was going to go south and go to the storage there or not, but she goes to the Molten Inferno. She'll work her way through the Tessa farm. She'll eventually dump her way into the king, and she still has her ability to protect herself. She's pretty much home free over there. The damage has been reduced on her all around here. She can get the enemy king distracted so the Royal Champion doesn't have to get locked down by him. He's going to be a really good spot here. Make the enemy Royal Champion invisible. Rage up the Royal Champion. Try to get this enemy king down. He'll push his way. Oh, there we go. He pops his RC ability that he still had intact. He loses his RC to the king, but it's okay. Just fighting the clock now. Let's see at that time. Fighting off the CC cost him in the end here. 20 seconds to close it out. Queen, where is she going? She's going to the storage at the bottom of the base. Okay, she'll have to come back. She can reach this drill over the wall here, but 10 seconds left. He's not going to make it. He's not going to make it. And it's another miss here for alternate attacks. And the Queen Walkers will potentially get up by three stars if they triple here. That is devastating here for alt attacks to miss another one. Stars is live. Coming in with a dragon. Baby dragon. Electro dragon. Dragon rider. Blizzard. Smash. Whatever it is. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. <laughs> but he'll drop in the blimp along the top edge of the base here. Going into the 
Scatter shot and the air defense. No, I guess he's gonna land there. Okay, okay, okay. Got the crash damage to take the air defense out over the wall. That worked out nice. Get a giant bomb. They'll survive that though. They can't take any more bombs there. But he will get that enemy road champion down. And can I get that wizard tower too? He also got the CC destroyed there. All of the CC troops will die with the CC if the super wizards destroy it while they're inside the invisibility. And so if there was a lava hound in there, it is down. Any troops that were pulled by the blimp died to the super wizards. And any troops that remained in there never were deployed as he kept them invisible the entire time. Let's start it off here, stars. He'll wrap his queen down to the town hall. If he can funnel her to go inside, that'd be perfect. He drops in a balloon to go take out the mortar. And he could have the king coming down there to assist the queen and circle backwards through the storages and take the same opening if he decides that is going to be needed. The king will start. He'll drop in a super wall breaker to punch the king in, ensuring that even if the queen doesn't go in initially, the king will drive her in eventually. Looking good here. The queen does step in. She'll pick out the bomb tower. With minimal damage on him right now. Get ready to start the dragons. Through the eagle artillery. Should get those going pretty soon here as he is now sure that the town hall will be locked down. He'll pop his ability. He'll freeze up the single inferno and continue to push through there. It has cost him a lot of time here to wait for the heroes to finish. If he sends the dragons from the bottom, which he is. It's an interesting choice. But he will get the enemy queen down a little bit earlier here. And he'll get faster access to the scatter shot and avoid fighting the sweeper as he makes his way into the base. He still might have to fight the sweeper here. Queen barely hanging on there. Will end up surviving. He's under the dragons there. Giving a little extra firepower. But not taking any damage at the moment. There is a ground expo that is pinging away something ahead of her. She finally goes down. Dragons will split to the outside a little bit there. As he has the majority of them going up to the multi-inferno. But he makes his road champion invisible. That'll drive his way in through the multi-inferno. He has one dragon split off to the scatter shot. He'll freeze out up there along with the sweeper. Our champion will step into the eagle artillery, but won't, won't last to take it down. Not as yet. They got another freeze here. He can use that for the air defense on the backside. He has balloons clapped in the air defense. Baby dragon on the backside there. Taking the arch tower. Gets the air defense down. Freezes up the arch tower. And stars from the queen walkers will rack in another one here. And they are now up by three stars. Absolute domination here in this finals match of the first open qualifier. The Clash Masters Cup. Let's go. AST is live. Coming in with a Queen Charge Dragon Rider attack here. Charging in through the scatter shot with the King. Using the Queen to funnel him into the base. The Queen will be able to start a Queen Charge after the King is out of the way there. And he can ensure that the Queen will not lose her healers over the King. The King will pull the CC. And if you get the Expo down before he engages the CC onto the Queen, that'd be ideal. Working on it now. And he does get it down there before he engages the CC. Got all damage off of the Queen. She can fight off the Lava Hound of Safety now. You want to rage it? She will rage it. Make sure the Hound pops while the poison is still active. That'll clear up these pups significantly faster. Save him a lot of time. That was the cause of that last fail. Now we all push his way in. He's already got the wall break into the town hall. So he's going to be able to walk right into the town hall compartment. Watch out for the single inferno though. The single inferno could potentially cause some problems here for the queen. She can't reach it from the compartment that she's in right now. So she'll have to round and go into the town hall before she will engage that single inferno. It will cost him some spells, but he has invisibility as well. Our champion will come in on the left flank there and try to collapse the queen a little bit faster. I'm sure she goes directly to that single inferno. She does break over to it now, saying just has high of the town hall poison. She will lock it down and she'll work her way towards the enemy queen. She has her ability. She can use it if needed, but he'll opt to freeze instead and get that enemy queen down. Even inside of the poison, the queen able to drop that enemy queen and continue pushing through. Dragon Riders from the right side have very little spell support here. Maybe could use one rage on them as the queen has find, found safety, but she will be wall breaking into the core of the base. The Aurora Champion cuts her off. The wizard behind her taking out the storage and pushing the queen directly into the multi-inferno in the core of the base. He's got the other multi-inferno dealt with. The ward ability is active with a rage over there. The queen still has her ability. She doesn't need it anymore. He's absolutely crushed it. Claps in the last scatter shot from every direction. And AST blowing this one out of the park. But is it too little too late here? 
four alternate attacks to make a comeback in this finals. They're going to need the Queen Walkers to one star and two star for their final attacks if they want to make a comeback because the Queen Walkers have not let up, but Klaus just got wrecked. Klaus is live. Here we go. Queen Walkers in a dominant position and Klaus getting fancy coming in with his signature kill squad attacks. He's got golems. He's got ice golems and he's got a small Lalo here. Let's see if he can get it done. He'll start off with a Yeti blimp or is it a blizzard? He has a lot of invisibility here, so it might be a blizzard. Going after this eagle artillery. Did he get the CC pull? It is a blizzard. Now notice how he places the rage to cover as much of that compartment as possible while also at the same time placing the invisibility to only cover the super wizards. And get a ton of value out of it, but he only used up two invisibilities, so four spells invested into that. And it's blimp, and he was able to take out a big section of the base. A lot more than a Yeti blimp would have got, but he did not get the CC pull. If he was uh, counting on him getting the CC pull. Wait, did he get any CC pull there? I don't think he did, right? He was really close to the CC range there. But I don't know that he actually pulled any out. He had to have got some of it, right? No, wait, what am I talking about? <laughs> I'm literally saying that as he has his queen fighting out the hound in the top corner. <laughs> I'm blind. I'm blind. Don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just here to watch. <laughs> He's got his road champion coming in from the right flank. They go into the multi front of the lot. A couple wall breakers there open up everything to allow the queen and the king with the golems and ice golems to go into the scatter shot. They have the jump to carry all the way through to the town hall. The beat king, which is the incredible new ninth anniversary king skin there, pops his ability, generating all of the special skin barbarians there to get out in front and provide some additional tanking there. But he's looking pretty good here as he has the jump to carry him through. The queen still has her unicorn. He'll make the queen invisible as he makes the approach. There's the 51%. Hasn't even started the blues yet. And he crosses 51% and activates that town hall. The queen, with her ability, will take the town hall down. Also picking off a cannon next to it. And here we go with the Lalo. Early ward ability will get him through the scatter shot and the enemy queen. Back to those headhunters. I'll tell you Inferno here. He's got a lot of spell support still. Looking really, really good. The hound crosses all the way to the other side of the base there. Could have taken advantage of the Hound over there with a couple of extra blues that he has, but he just lets it go down and he's struggling to get to this Multi-Inferno though. This Multi-Inferno causes some problems for him. He still has two blues for the backside and it might cost him that he didn't take advantage of the Hound over in the left-hand corner. May have been more concentrated on making sure this Multi-Inferno was going down as it was causing some problems with the path and getting into it. He still has a decent amount of blues here. Circle to that side, he'll drop in the blues as the main pack arrives into the Tesla. And claps backwards. He still has the warden. He still has the electric owl. He's got 20 seconds left, but his cleanup is stuck on the king over on the right side. Finally gets it done. The baby dragon will rejoin. He's asking the goblin to turn back around. He's got the warden and the blues going that way. They're like, oh no! No, 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 no! Take it, take it. 10 seconds, 10 seconds! Warden has to do it. Warden, it's up to the warden and electric owl! Three, two, one! No, he doesn't get the shot! It's a time fail for Klaus! <laughs> oh, rip! <laughs> the baby dragon was on it and it got hit by a black mine. And that cost Klaus the triple. Mask for the final attack. Has to triple this. Absolutely has to triple this if they want a chance to come back in this war. Queen Charge, Dragon Rider. Starting with a Queen Charge at the Town Hall. Not looking like he will go in the Town Hall compartment immediately. Although, eh, maybe he will. Maybe he, the Queen will walk in there. No, she's going north. Okay. The wall break at the Archer Tower, though. That wall is long enough that it can wall break in the middle of it if there's a building on the other side. A wall has to be at least 15 tile lengths to be able to wall break at the middle of it. And there has to be a defense on the other side of his center like the arch tower was, but that was a nice spot there to see that he can wall break that wall and not have the wall breakers run past it. But now the queen will continue on to the town hall. 
And then we'll be able to reach that town hall over the wall here. Watch the healer angle here. You might need to freeze it or make the queen invisible. Great job. Makes the queen invisible. Also makes the unicorn invisible. Protecting the healers and he will drive through. Pick off the expo as well. Everything looking good here. Nice approach. The king comes in on the top flank there. And will work his way into the multi-inferno. Getting good value to him. Always... Make sure that your king takes out at least one major defense. And the Royal Champion can work with the king there and maybe go all the way into the scatter shot. The enemy Royal Champion will be standing over on the right side. But he might be able to start in the Dragon Riders over the head of the RC and the king to help provide some assistance there. Although his Royal Champion does get targeted by the enemy queen and he is going to go to ability there. Does not get the scatter shot down. Freezes it. Ways to freeze. No problem here. Still need to get the scatter shot down. There's the ward ability protecting. He drops in one balloon on the backside here as he has a couple of random troops in there to provide a little bit of cover. The Dragon Riders will hold attention to the Scatter Shot, but no, they do not. The Scatter Shot turns onto the balloon as it makes his approach and it gets inside the minimum range and then hits a black mine anyways. Okay, the Dragon Rider is split off to the top side. It will pick off the Scatter Shot. The Queen's still working on the bottom side. Her healers are holding the attention of the Scatter Shot at the moment. They will go down. The Queen doesn't need the healers anymore. The Dragon Rider in the middle will take out the Multi Inferno after a split off from the Scatter Shot up top and takes it on the last strike. Mask from Alter Attacks will give them a chance here. But now they have to pray for a one star defense from Yuta of the Queen Walkers. They can close it out right now with a two star. Yuta. Coming in with Dragon Riders. Queen charge Dragon Riders with a Stone Slammer. Watch him come in opposite the Town Hall. No, he's going directly after it. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, it would be funny if Yuda came in opposite of the Town Hall. But no, he'll charge it directly. Not going to take any risks. He'll wrap his Queen around it to the north here. And then he can wall break on the left edge. And delay his healers until after... He can get a better angle of approach here and send him in from the top left. Comes the super wall breaker, the balloon. It's not getting targeted. Perfect lineup right there on his approach. Everything looking good. Be able to step through, rage up, engage the town hall, freeze it up. He's got it under control here. Yuda, looking good here. All he needs now is to collect 50% here. That should be an easy task here. As he has not had any mistakes so far, and he's looking absolutely solid for his opening. A little bit of a scattered CC there as they get away from the poison. He was able to protect his queen and delay him for a moment here while he gets the town hall poison to fade and finally can work his way through the rest of the CC. But he will use an, another invisibility. He's got two more rages and one freeze. Let's get the CC down. The headhunter is going to. Oh, they're not there. The. Super minions gonna walk off to the balloon. We'll come back to the queen though. Get the single down, and now we'll re-engage the CC. And here we go with the dragon runners in from the right side. A lot of resources there, but it was safer to go directly to the town hall and just ensure he gets that. The triple is irrelevant right now. Although it would be nice. It would be nice. It's not necessary. Just needs to get the 50% here, and he's looking. Like he is going to be able to pull that three. Drops in the king on the back side of the base to go in to the eagle artillery. Ward ability protect him through the enemy rare champion. So we can get the headhunters in there to take her down. No problem there. The queen has lost her healers now. But it's okay. She got everything that she needed to get. The dragon riders will go into the core and try to get this multi-inferno down. The warden will continue working out if the dragon riders leave it. Looks like the... Electric Owl might be in charge of it. He'll rage up in the core. He's leaving that multi inferno behind. Electric Owl will have to take it, but no, no. The dragon will step in there and take it that came out of his stone slammer. Or champion popper ability has to protect this dragon. The dragon takes a black mine though. He's not gonna make it. It's a defense. I have a feeling that he had a different queen charge planned, but he went for the safe two sar. Locked in the wind. That's the smart thing to do. It may have not been the optimal plan for the three star, but it was the optimal plan to lock in the win here. And the Queen Walkers will win the first open qualifier of the Clash Master Series. This series is going to be live on Twitch every week. 
Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday around the same time for the next four weeks. So come join us on Twitch. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more Clash of Clans esports to see it right here on YouTube. And then we'll see you guys in the next one. Congratulations to the Queen Walkers 13 to 12.